Takahashi Meijin no Pokenjima 2 or Master Takahashi's Super Adventure Island 2. Of course, you already knew that. Released in 1995, this game, well, it kind of broke the mold. I'll get to that in a minute, though. As you can see, it's an action platformer starring the at uh, the now famous, or formerly famous, however you want to put it, Master Higgins. In this, uh, in this game, you have to rescue your wife, Tina, from the clutches of, you know, evil things. I'm not entirely sure, I haven't beaten it in a while, so... Anyway, to start you off on your quest, you gotta go talk to the king. And the king likes to hear himself talk, and talk, and talk. So we're just gonna speed through this as fast as we can. Ready? Go! Blah 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 Even sped up, it just moves like a crawl, you know? Anyway, once we're out of there, <laughs> we get to this, the world map. Here in the world map, you, you know, run around on a raft and get random encounters, where you get beat up by random enemies. Or, well, not random enemies so much as territorial enemies. Anyway, you probably missed it speeding through the uh, conversation you had with the king, but the king told you to go here to Poka Poka Island. Now, there are six of these islands that you have to visit out of seven. Or was it? Excuse me, five islands out of seven. But with the sixth island being the last and hardest of the islands. Each island has uh, a bunch of items, coins, power ups. Uh, and some... and a boss! Yeah, actually. Can't forget the boss. The boss is a very important factor. Sorry, kind of. Just basically an overgrown enemy that you gotta beat. Anyway, um, there are switches and stuff, and it's a real change from the original. Which I like to fondly remember as being, you know, a simple side-scroller where you... Zoom around on skateboards and shoot things and walk around and get to the end of the level before your energy bar runs out. But back to the present, or the past, whatever. As I said, Super Adventure Island 2 is an action platformer, with, which breaks the original Adventure Island mold. Instead of running around like in that previous uh, fond memory there, you actually have to bust through stages which are, have big maps like you saw, and collect items, beat bosses, and uh, most notably, if you get hit by an enemy, you don't instantly die. Kinda nice, right? Anyway, after you do all that, you go back to the king, and you hear him ramble on, slowly. I'm holding down the button, man. It's barely going twice as fast. Anyway, the king will give you some sort of subtle or maybe direct hint, and then encourage you to save Tina, who the king is actually going to marry at this point. See, I skipped the introduction. The introduction to the game goes something like, Higgins and Tina are on their honeymoon on a raft somewhere, and then a terrible storm hits, and then BAM! They both land on this island, and uh, what happens is they both lose their memory. So, Higgins has to save Tina, who is his wife, but he doesn't remember. And Tina, you know, is giving Higgins hints every now and then. Like, after every boss battle and when he sleeps in the inn. Which, by the way, sleeping in the inn is almost entirely unnecessary unless you really need hints. Because there are various, uh... There are various, like, Kid style fountains that you can... Uh, bathe in and get healed that way. And anyway, uh, you go to the king, get hints, go to sleep, have a dream about Tina, wake up, and run around on the overworld map again. <laughs> now, this game is pretty inventory based, so you gotta use certain islands to do certain things, like here, you gotta use the light stone to lower the gate. 
so that way you can progress and move on to the next area of the game. Uh, which, you know, is up here. Well, actually, that's not it. I got lost. <laughs> I haven't played this game in a while, so I got lost. Now, all the other islands have something blocking them, and you gotta use an item on the pedestal. Anyway, um, there's a lot of running around, going back and forth in this game. A uh, few boss fights for certain items and certain other things. Here, you'll see part of a boss fight here. He didn't really need to read that, but... Well, I didn't really need to read that, but why not? So anyway, after you fight this boss here, uh, you get the next stone, which lowers the other gate so you can actually continue with your adventure. And then you gotta go around here and... Actually, I should mention heh, random encounters. Aren't they fun? Oh, yeah, and the items don't actually stay on your raft. Anyway, in addition to items and inventory and stuff, you can learn skills from wise old men, like a push and an up thrust, 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 and a down thrust. Kind of like The Legend of Zelda, the Link's adventure, the adventure of Link, I mean. That's fun. This game really is fun. It's kind of repetitive. Because there's, like I said, there's a lot of backtracking you gotta do. Like, you gotta do a whole lot of backtracking. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. Anyway. Here's the next island. It's, uh... Well, I don't remember what it's called, come to think of it. But anyway, here's one of my favorite cutscenes in the entire game. Watch, watch, watch. The ice giant cometh, and breaketh open the openeth the dooreth. Is that is that corny or is that corny, folks? <laughs> but this game's full of let's say odd dialogue too. So now here's something I've I've always wondered: Why isn't Master Higgins like freezing his butt off when he's in here? Without our oh, you can get armor later too. Not anyway. We're just gonna zip through this because it's kind of boring and repetitive. So I'm just giving you guys kind of a feel of what the game's like. I mean, yeah, it is boring and repetitive, but it's also fun because you're running around and killing things, and the music, as you can hear, is freaking awesome. So it's you know it's not all bad. Really good, in fact. So, what do I have to say about Super Adventure Island 2 that I haven't already? Well, it's a pretty, it's a fairly average action platformer or side scroller game, and it's pretty much nothing like the original Adventure Islands or even Super Adventure Island. So, if you play this, you're gonna be, you know, if, if, you're, if you're expecting, like, another Adventure Island game, and you play this, you're gonna be pretty confused. Um, the game tells you where you need to go, so that's no problem. Well, the game, the king tells you. And he talks very slowly, as I mentioned, and as you saw. So, uh, direction finding is not really an issue with this game. There aren't, as far as I can tell, there aren't any real bugs to this game. I haven't missed a jump yet, and, you know, none of the enemies are, like, completely invincible. It's a bit on the easy side, in fact, but it's a cute game. I highly recommend this game if you're into action platformers. It'll keep you busy for a while. There's even a save system, so, you know. Well, anyway, thank you for watching. This has been Joseph Collins Presents Take On. See ya!